Hello and welcome back to Cobble Park Farm where today we're going to be doing some baling and we're then going to be moving the bales out of the field to the cell point which is just up here. I'm not going to use the auto stacker like I said in the previous episode, I'm going to try and do it all myself with the telehandler and bale trailer but we'll see how it goes. If it goes really badly wrong then I'll have to use the auto stacker but I'm trying not to. I'm just putting the combine away first. It is annoying not being able to attach the header trailer to the combine. So I'm just going to get a tractor to do it. Still, we will uh, do that later on. We'll move the header later on when I've done the bales. Okay, so we'll just run around the front and we'll see if the baler is here. I think it is. I think it's just around here. And I also need to find a suitable tractor for the baler. It's not there. Yep, there it is. Round baler there. That manure can probably actually go into the greenhouse. We could do that right now. I do need to keep an eye on these greenhouses. They might need water too as well, but I'm not going to do that today. This is the one with the funny trigger. I don't want to waste any. Yeah, there we go. That's got it. Good, so I'll go and put this away, we'll go and get a tractor, and we'll get the baling done. I think I'll probably use, I need a higher horsepower tractor for that. I think the JCB is a good one for the baler, so I'll go and get that. Okay, so up to Cobra Farm. When we've done the baling, I'm going to have to come back here and unload the bale trailer because we've still got the silage bales on it from last week. So um, I'll have to do that. I think I'll probably just stack those in a shed somewhere. It doesn't have to be neat or anything. As I'm heading up here with no trailer on the back, I'll bring the header trailer back now. Saves the job later on. I tend to park this just around the corner, there's a good space if you can reverse of course in here, I'm not that good at reversing but I'll give it a go. Yeah, I'm really bad at this so I might not even be able to do it. Do. It's going to look really messy. Look at that angle. Yeah, I'm turning. Keep turning the steering wheel the wrong way. I want to be. Oh, it's too late now. Oh, forget it. I just put it there. Okay, we're going to get the baler. We also need some diesel. I've just noticed. We're in the red. Oh, 
Okay, I think 300 litres should do us for today. That should be plenty. No point putting more than I need in there, because I don't really have that much money and I might still need it for other tractors. Shouldn't use too much with the baling. This tractor I've noticed uses a lot more with ploughing. Uses a lot with ploughing, a lot of diesel. Obviously any cultivation work. Doesn't really use too much with road work, as you'd expect that. But let's get going with this field. Need to unfold it first. And this will be quicker than our ram baling because we don't have to wait to unload each bale. I do find the ram baling is best for hay and silage and these kind of bales are best for you know wheat, barley, bales, that kind of thing. Oh, I don't really want to miss any. I do find it easier for me in cab when I'm doing the baling. So I'm going to crack on, get this field all done, and I'll see you in a second when I've done a bit more. Well that's all the headlands taken off, 32 bales already, I'm supposed to be moving all these with the telehandler, it uh, may take me a while, might end up using the auto stacker actually, but I'll give it a go, definitely worth giving it a go because I did actually find it quite easy to do the round bales with the telehandler so I would like to give the square bales a go it wouldn't hurt to so might as well I'm interested to see how many bells we actually get out of this. I'm guessing it'll be 50 to 60. I'll have to see. We get in there. Not too much left to do. I have missed a few bits here and there, but overall, I've tried to get everything. The bells tend to flip when they come out. I think I'm going a little bit too quick. See if it does it if I knock the speed down. No, much better. Should have been going about 10 most of the time then, 10 miles per hour. let you go 15 but I have to say I think that's a little bit too quick the bales seem to go a little mad if you do that yeah still flip then though that's weird that was 9 miles per hour. Right, final row. Let's 
going to be pretty much 50 rails. Just get to put over here. Look at that. 51 bales. That was almost 50. Pretty good. I'm happy with that, although I might not be quite as happy when I've stacked them all. We'll go and take this back to the yard and I'll go and unload the silage bale trailer. And we'll bring it up here and I'll try and load load number one today. I don't know if I'll be able to. Okay, so down to Chantry Farm. I think if I attach the trailer and just pull forwards, I should be able to unload it and put them in the shed just there. The load is already over here. So I'm told that loading and unloading from the same side is a lot easier. So I'm going to give it a go. Apparently, what I was doing before, going around to each side of the trailer to unload it was not right, so I'll try it this way. Apparently, it's easier, so give it a go. That is the only issue with stacking next to it. When you expand the grab, it pulls both of them over. have not one off. I'll have to clear that up in a minute. That's a hard one. Right, that is eight done. We have three left.
I'll just pull the trailer out of the way so I can pick up the other one. Right, so yeah. We'll just get that one picked up. And there is our stock of silage bales, that should be plenty. Oh no! Oh, that'll be okay, that'll be the first one we use. So, we're going to go and pick up our square bales. We're going to need a different attachment. Uh, we want the bale fork. I'm not sure where it is. Let's go and look for it. We actually don't have one, so I'm going to have to buy one. That'd be at the store. So, what I'll do is I'll go and pick that up off screen and I'll get the JCB to follow me. Hopefully it's going to follow me out of there. Okay, so here we are. The JCB is already here. I've got my bale spike. Let's commence bale spiking. Now, I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to do this properly because I really want to. I want to be able to do a good load. I'm not so worried about transport because it's literally just up there where I'm going to be taking it to. But I still want my stacking skills to be fairly good. It's a good start. Uh, you got to get them close up, but I don't really want to to do it so close that it knocks the trailer over. It's that kind of thing. It's what I'm looking for. I mean, I'm not trying to be a perfectionist or anything, but I do want it to look sort of reasonable. I think one of the keys is to be square on to the bale before you spike it. And the same with the trailer. Be lined up with it before you go up to it. That actually looks really good. If I can stay like that, then this is going to go well. Now obviously I'm making it easier for myself, being in the outside camera view. would be very challenging from in cab and also I'm not going to try and do this one bale high oh no it's going to be much higher than that it wants to be at least two really otherwise I'm just making it easy for myself Now that, if you saw that bale then, next to it, move, that's what I'm also worried about. The locking script on the trailer, if you touch them when they're sort of locked on, that's when things go bad, as I found out from the Thistle Farm map. I pulled one bale and it pulled a lot off, so I've got to be very careful about that.
Now I'm assuming the space at the back I can load from the other side, like from the back of the trailer. I don't know how well I'll be able to do it. Might just have to drop the bale in there. But I think I'll leave that till last. Nope, that was bad. More like that, I think. Well, that's not good either. Nah, it's not square on the spike. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to do any funny things while I'm off screen. Uh, you've just seen me stack the lower level, so I think you can see what my stacking skills are. They're not amazing, but they're okay. But I'm going to try and stack the rest of it perfectly off camera. And uh, then I start the recording again and I'll show you what it looks like. And you just have to take my word for it that I'm not going to cheat. Okay, see you in a second. I've just decided actually, what's the point in me doing everything off screen? I may as well just do a time lapse. That'd be way better. So, once again, I'll see you in a minute, but from now on, it's going to be a time lapse. Right, so, the top ones are quite difficult to do, I'm just rearranging that one. If you touch another bale it locks them, so I'm trying not to do that. Keep getting caught. 
and that is those two. Um, the back section, though, hmm, what do you do there? They're not very good, those two, but, you know, it, it's looking okay. It's not amazing. It's far from amazing, actually, but it's looking okay. Uh, we've got plenty more to do, though, so tomorrow I would like to do an even better one, or a better one. Uh, let's see if I can just drop these down the back. We might just have to do it without these. Really not sure what to do. But you can't you can't really pull out with it there. You could do that. Just about. Yep, you could do that. If I can get another one on there. And then put another one over the top. And that'd be as full as I want it today. If anyone has any tips on how to do this properly, that'd be great. Good. Right, one more bail then, and that'll be it done. I'm just looking for one more over the top. They should also help it stay in place. It should hold it in place more. It always gets stuck just there. But that is actually the first trailer I've ever stacked properly, which is square bales. Um, I have done round bales not very well, but I have. In a way, I think that's probably easier. Hey, there's someone in here! Soon threw him out. Right, so we're going to go to the yard now. And I'm going to go and sell them. It's a shame, really, actually. That is a real shame. I'll tell you what. I'll do a screenshot. That can be the thumbnail for today. They actually do seem to be holding in very well. Brilliant. So, there we go. The screenshot's done. The bailing is done. First trailer load is done. Now all that's left is to see how much I can get for this. Oh, don't tip over now. That would be bad. I'm pleased I managed to get the two on the back as well. Right, so which way shall I tackle this? I just really want to reverse straight into there. See if it will sell them all. I don't really want to have to keep unloading them with the loader. They should just sell. And anyway, we're on 6,570, see what we can get it to. So just pull forward again. Looks like it's £156 per bale. again. <laughs> Just have to keep doing it. Which means we will be making a fair bit of money from all of that field. And there we go. So that's it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and if you have you can join me again next week next Friday where we'll be finishing off those bales. Uh, but yep, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and bye for now.